hello viewers welcome to my channel in this video i want to show everyone on how to convert dot lz or LES lidar point cloud data into rcp readable simple 3d format so as you can see this is uh, a lidar that has been classified and it has been imported into the AutoCAD with the 3D work environment. So the default format was on LAZ and um, I converted it to RCP readable uh, format in Super 3D. So let's get started. So I'm just going to close this. So I'll be using a couple of our software. So it's in three phase, a step by step approach. So you are expected to have your LiDAR data set. So in case you just join me first on this channel, you can check the description to see how to download from an open source just to practice or if you have actually captured the dataset with a drone and you've processed it in the .laz format and you are finding it difficult to import into the AutoCAD security, just follow this step in this video. So these are the set of point cloud data, you can see it .laz, these are the files, alright. So I'm just going to close that. So the first thing is to open your global mapper. So your global mapper is the subsidiary app that we are going to be using first. So from global mapper, we will use the Autodex Recap 360. All right, so you click on open data files. Then you navigate to the folder where you have your point cloud data. All right, so you control A to highlight and select all of the .lz files then you click on open so this you click on ok and um, you are expected to define the coordinate system of your data set so it's on default that's with it so in as much they are on the same reference system you have to check use selected projection for all the selected files then you click on ok so these are the classified uh, classifications of my data set for the point cloud so here you check this box LAS slash LAZ alright then below you are going to see the OK button alright so you click on OK so depending on how your bulky your data set is it is going to load up you just need to wait for a while Alright, so it's, it's done importing and you can see based on the default classification. Alright, in my next video, I'm going to show you guys how to process LiDAR point cloud and uh, reclassify. Alright, then the next thing is to select one of the data sets on the workspace. You right click, scroll down to layer, then you navigate to export layers to new file. You click on that. So here it has checked just one of the data sets, then you click on check all since you are about to convert all of the data sets into you know, the next format. Alright, then you click on OK. So you click on this drop down in case you're showing something else. So the idea is that you are to move from .laz to LAS. And from LAS you can now convert to RCP, so to the readable format. However, if yours is on .LAS already, there's no need to use the global mapper. You just need to use the Autodex Recap Pro directly. I hope you get that. All right, so you look for LiDAR LAS file. So you select that. So when you select this, you click on OK. So you check this save color value for each point from points or raster layer. So this is expected to be on class, except you want to use other you know, elevation formats but meters is best okay then the next is to check this box save projection in LAS slash LAZ header all right then you click on ok so you have to rename this file so i'm just going to call this LiDAR data set so this dot LES. So you note the folder where it is going into, it's going under my downloads under the point cloud data set. Alright. 
so uh, you click on save so you just wait for a while it's going to convert the LAZ to LAS alright so that is done you just need to close your global mapper alright then the next thing is to open your Autodex Recap 360 if you are in need of this software please join my whatsapp community or you can directly source for it from the official website thank you all right so on your auto dex and recap 360 pro you click on scan objects so you see these are uh, options coming out to define a folder so a new project will be created i'll call this lidar you know the folder where it is going into so it's going onto my desktop youtube then you click on proceed so you have successfully created a folder then you click on select files to import so you navigate to the folder where you have your LAS converted data set so I have it under my downloads under the point cloud data and here it is alright so automatically it is going to read the data set so if yours is showing something else here so these are the data set that is readable in uh, Autodesk Recap so dot .laz is not readable here only dot LES. That is why we have to use a global mapper to convert LEZ to LES first. Then from LES, we can now export okay into RCP readable uh, simultaneity format. So you can see it here. So this is RCP, okay, and um, here is RCS. So they are both readable in the uh, AutoCAD simultaneity. Okay, so you click on all selected files, then you click on open. So it does import the LiDAR data set. Then the next is to click on index scan. So it is going to load the LiDAR point cloud and depending on how bulky your data is, it's just going to take a while. So it's loading until you're 100%. So you wait for a while. Okay, so that is done 100%. Then the next thing is to click on launch project. Okay, so this is the set of the uh, radar data set from uh, uh, globalmapper.les. Okay, so you can actually rotate it to be view from the top. So it's the same thing just like what you saw earlier on uh, global mapper point cloud. So you can see the footprint of the buildings and all that okay so the next thing here is to convert to dot rcp which is a uh, readable uh, in autocad civil 3d okay so to do that you don't click on it just hover on the home icon here so you can now hover to this option here so the uh, down arrow is import while the up arrow is export so you now click on the uh, second option which is to export the data set okay so if you click on this drop down you can see the format you can export into rcp rcs so i uh, would recommend you go with a unified rcp okay so here you can now rename the file so i'll call this 3d So, so 3D LiDAR. Okay, so you know the folder where the, the data set is going, then you click on save. So it will ask you, so you click on, you know, let's go. So it will start exporting it into the readable CV3D uh, AutoCAD format. So you just need to wait for a while. This is also going to take a few minutes depending on how large your files is. Alright, so that's done. Then the next thing is just to close the recap. So you may save and you may not save. Alright, then you launch into your Civil 3D. Okay, right. So on your Civil 3D, so I recommend you set your uh, projection system to the system that your point cloud data is under the drawing settings. 
you need to define the reference system so you can check the description to see how to set reference system therefore you come to insert on your cp3d tab then you navigate to point cloud attach you click on that icon then you can now go to the folder where you have your uh, rcp uh, lidar data set saved so you select it to appear here you can see it has already read it the format so we have rcs as well so anyone is you know acceptable then you click on open so it's going to bring out this prompt so let's just be on relative part uncheck this if yours is checked then leave every other thing on default then you click on ok all right automatically it is going to uh, import your lidar uh, point cloud into the environment so you can see this is how to import the uh, lidar data set into cv3d by converting from LAZ to LCD or LCS. So if yours is showing white background, you click on this icon here, click on options, then you can return it back to you know, the default background. It was just that I did those settings myself earlier. And um, because everything is black, so you can actually see the point data set. So that is why I changed the background to white so you can also change your background to you know white so that your data set can be uh, visible on your workspace okay so the next thing is that uh, you can actually generate contours from it if you have actually processed the point cloud in global mapper or you can change the uh, classification by selecting the lidar data set on your workspace you come to scan colors here so you can see the different options here okay so you can go with classification based on the classification you give it in uh global mapper while you are processing or other softwares of your interest so guys this is how to uh convert lz to lcp and uh, importing into the cv3d workspace easily you can also have an idea of the numbers of data sets, all right, the number of point clouds. Okay, so by selecting it, then you click on create surface from point cloud and um, you click on next. So you can, when you want to create surface that's like contour, you can actually follow this process. But in my next video, I'm going to show you guys. So you can see this is the total number of selected points, that is the whole point cloud uh, data. Alright, so this is millions, if not billions of you know, data. Alright, so that's the beauty of uh, using CP3D uh, to you know, generate other uh, deliverables from LiDAR points uh, cloud. So if you find this video helpful and uh, informative, do well to hit on the subscribe icon as well as uh, turn on your notification to keep getting valuable tutorial free. Thank you. See you in the next video.